Today we are ranking every Chapter 5 Season 2 weapon. If you like this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Use code TUNESPIDER in the Fortnite item shop to support me, and let's get to ranking. So starting with the new Gatekeeper Shotgun, I'm going to be putting this in A. If it had a bigger clip, I would definitely be putting it in S because it hits hard and it has good range and it shoots really fast. But because there's only three in the clip, it's going to be starting in A. The Harbinger SMG, I'm also having that in A. Keep in mind, these are not the mythic versions. These are the base versions. It shoots really fast. Of course, it has a fast fire rate for an SMG. It just doesn't hit that hard. Icarus's wings. Now, this is kind of tough because I feel... They are really good for mobility. I always get shot out of the sky when I use them for some reason, but they can cover a lot of distance and they do look really cool, but you do have a way bigger hitbox when you use this. So because of that, I'm gonna be putting it in A as well. Zeus's lightning bolt, I'm gonna be putting that in B. It is not as overpowered as people think. It only does 40 damage. The last throw does 80, so it won't even knock you if he hits you with all three of the bolts. Also, it's really easy to shoot them out of the sky while they're using the Zeus Lightning Bolt. Bunkers. Now, bunkers are always solid. I think it's going to be an A for sure, especially in zero build. I could see it in build mode, them not really mattering at all because, of course, you have builds. But in zero build, bunkers can be really clutch, so I'm going to be putting that in A. The pistol. Pistol is going to be going in B. It's just solid. I mean, it's just a pistol. You never really want a gray pistol off the drop, but if you get a green or a blue, you can do some damage with it. It has a pretty good fire rate, but if you can get a red-eyed dot sight on it, or if you can get a drum mag, then it's going to be really good. The new Warforged Assault Rifle is going in S. I absolutely love this AR. It's probably in my top five ARs of all time. It shoots fast. It has a great fire rate. It does great damage. It doesn't have a lot of recoil. And I love the red eye dot sight with this Warforged Assault Rifle. The Nemesis. The Nemesis is not that good. I'm going to be putting in B. It's solid. It almost shoots like the old AK in a way. It has a little bit slower fire rate than the Warforged, but it does hit a little harder. And because of that, I'm going to be putting it in B. Now the Huntress DMR, I am also going to be putting that in A. It hits so hard. It does have a slow fire rate. But if you can get a sniper scope or a thermal scope on it, it can be very overpowered from a distance. The Frenzy Auto Shotgun, that is going in S+. Plus. It has to. It's so overpowered in zero build. There's no point, even though I like the Gatekeeper and I like the Hammer Pump Shotgun, there's no point of taking them because the Auto Frenzy Shotgun is so broken in zero build. Now, I know in build mode, the Gatekeeper and the Hammer Pump might actually be better to take because you can build, you can reset your builds, you can edit. But as far as zero build... Frenzy Auto Shotgun all the way. Hammer Pump Shotgun, that is going to be going in B right now. I just never take it anymore. With the Gatekeeper, the Gatekeeper shoots faster. It shoots better at a distance. Of course, the Auto Frenzy Auto Shotgun is the most dominant shotgun right now for zero build. So there's just no point of taking the Hammer Pump Shotgun right now unless you need it right off the drop. The Burst SMG, I'm going to be putting that in A. I like it a lot. I Not everybody likes how a Burst shoots, and that's completely fine but it does a good amount of damage. It doesn't have crazy recoil. It has a good fire rate. So I think for that, it goes in A. The Reaper Sniper, of course it's going in S plus because it is still broken. They've tried nerfing it. They've tried changing the bullet drop. They've now removed uh, green and blue rarity, but it's still just overpowered. It feels like every zero build fight just ends up turning into a sniper battle, especially in end game. So for that, it has to be an S plus. Besides some of the mythics, it's probably the best weapon in the game right now. Shield breaker EMPs. I'm going to be putting that in C. I just don't really use them. They're great to get rid of shield, especially in the beginning of the game. But other than that, I just don't pick them up that often. So for that, they're going to be going in C. Shockwaves. Shockwaves are my favorite mobility this season. So I'm going to be putting them in S. I mean, shockwaves have always been great ever since they came into Fortnite. You can cover a lot of distance. You can hold six of them. You can shoot while you're in the air, which is always great. And if you do like a flowberry fizz or a flowberry, then shockwave, you get extra air, which is always a lot of fun. A new item, the banana of the gods. This is going in A. At first, I didn't like it. I thought it was kind of pointless, but when I've used it in storm and it's quickly gained my health up, I've been able to run faster, jump higher. It is actually a pretty good item to use. I wish the ability to run faster and jump higher 
stayed a little longer with you but it is a pretty unique item to use for this season cluster clingers i am putting them in s they are crazy in zero build they can destroy you so fast they're easily my girl's favorite item to use and somehow she always gets kills with them it's it's pretty funny to watch to be honest but they they just do so much damage in zero build it's it's definitely got to be an s the chain of hades i'm going to be putting this in b the fighting style of it is similar to the grapple blade of last season you can pull people which is all it's just really cool like it's a really cool item it just doesn't do enough damage to the point where i kind of wish this was just a grapple blade in a way like it'd be really cool with the chain of hades but i'm not using that often i pass on it a lot of the times unless it's early game so it's going in b shield bubble juniors are incredible i love them they're going in s I'm so glad they brought the shield bubble back. It's always so fun to use and it can be a lifesaver, especially in zero build end games. Now the drum gun has returned. Uh, the drum gun has always been so much fun to use. They sped up the fire rate, which is great. They added a little more damage, but it just doesn't keep up with the Warforged assault rifle in my opinion. And because of that, I can't put it in S. It's going to go in A. It's still a great item to use. Um, the recoil can be a little hard to control sometimes, but it's so good up close. So if you do use like a gatekeeper or a pump, being able to get that big shot right out, right away and then spray with your drum gun up close, you're most likely going to knock or eliminate the person. So the weapons that I left for last are going to be the mythic versions of these weapons. So Midas's drum gun, and I love that it's back. It's very nostalgic. I know it looks a little different, but it's still Midas's drum gun. Like he's back in the game. It's awesome. So I'm going to be putting that in S. Ares Warforged Assault Rifle. That's going in S+. Plus. It's actually my favorite mythic. It's my favorite weapon this season so far. It is a laser. Easy to control. Shoots extremely fast. And it has the red eye dot sight, which I love. So it's the perfect assault rifle in my opinion. Cerberus's Gatekeeper Shotgun. I'm going to be putting that in S as well. I think it would be S plus if they would have put a drum mag with it. If it had the drum mag, it would have been S plus for sure. It does great damage. Um, it shoots fast. The only problem is there's only three in the clip and I would rather take a legendary gatekeeper with a drum mag over a mythic. So I can't be putting in an S plus with that kind of situation. Zeus's Huntress DMR. I'm going to be putting this in S as well. It's an incredibly strong DMR, of course, but if you prefer the thermal with your Huntress DMR, then it's, I can't be putting this in S plus because it's going to come with a sniper scope. That's the tough part about the mythics is you can't mod them at all, but Zeus's Huntress DMR is going to be an S. Now, last but not least is Hades Harbinger SMG. This is going in S plus incredible fire rate has good damage, uh, comes with the speed mag. So it reloads quickly. Overall, it's, in my opinion, the second best mythic that we have this season. But this is my Chapter 5 Season 2 tier list. Let me know what weapons you think are incredible this season, or let me know which ones you think are awful this season. Let me know if you prefer weapons like the Zeus Lightning Bolt, or if you prefer maybe Cerberus's Gatekeeper over a Frenzy Shotgun. I know in build mode, you probably will. I know the Gatekeeper will be more popular for build mode. But if you like this video, be sure to drop a like. If you enjoy tier lists, be sure to check out my other tier lists in the description or the playlist. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.